What is graphology? The study of written and printed symbols and of writing systems. Look here, graphology is the study of written symbols, a study of printed symbols. So what is written and what is printed, all those symbols could be the part of the study of graphology and of writing system and also all the writing systems all the elements all the things that take into the writing process could be the study of graphology point number two in linguistics however the name is used for the study of the writing system of a language and for the system itself so in linguistics this term graphology is used for the study of the writing system of a language how the system is followed in a language to write something and for the system itself means the system itself how it works how it helps writing happen we talk and we discuss about all these things in the field of graphology point number three graphology is considered a level of language parallel to phonology look here graphology is also a separate subject like phonology is a separate subject so it is as important and as parallel to phonology means that Graphology is like morphology, like syntax, like phonology, and so on. So it is a branch of linguistics. In itself, it is a separate subject of a study. That is the point in three. Okay, we move on to the next. Graphology, we continue. In modern English writing, we have a graphological rank scale of four ranks. So graphology, as we talked about, it has four, four, we have a four ranks. Graphology is divided into four subcategories. It has four ranks, four divisions. Number one, sentence. Let's talk about what is sentence. Look here, we are not going to talk about the definition of sentence. Uh, we are trying to understand what sentence basically contains. What are the characteristics? What are the attributes? This, uh, from the point of view of graphology, from the point of view of the writing system, how it works in print, in writing, not as a part of grammar. What is sentence like? Uh, sentence uh, is a group of words and so on and so forth. Look here, mm, number one point, it begins with a capital letter. Sentence begins with a capital letter. It ends with a major punctuation mark, such as full stop, question, or exclamation mark. So it uh, begins with a capital letter and a sentence also ends with punctuation marks like full stop, like question mark, like exclamation mark. This is all about sentence. Okay. This is the first rank scale. Second, graphology. We have sub sentence. What is sub sentence? Let's talk about it is bounded by some intermediate punctuation marks within a sentence such as colon, semicolon or comma. Look, a sub sentence is all about what is happening in the writing system within a sentence. So within a sentence, sometimes it helps us to write a long sentence. Sometimes we put colon, sometimes we put semicolon and sometimes we put comma. So all these three punctuation marks like colon, semicolon, comma, they always happen and they occur within a sentence in the system of writing and that is why we call it sub sentence means not full sentence a part of sentence okay we'll go to the next point number three about graphology the third rank scale of graphology word what is word number one point it is a single distinct meaningful element of a speech or writing so word is a single word it is distinct very clear it has meaning and it is used in a speech or writing okay point number two it is used with others or sometimes alone to form a sentence sometimes a word can be used alone sometimes many words can form a sentence point number three it is typically shown with a space on either side when written or printed so what is the characteristic of a word in writing system in writing system a word has a space on either side when it is written or printed like you can see here, look this is the word and we see we have the space here left side and we have the space here right side so on either side when written or printed so these are the attributes characteristics and qualities of words when written on paper this is the third rank scale of graphology we move on to the next fourth that is later graphology point number one it is a character representing one or more of the sounds used in a speech. So a letter is basically a character, a sound, and it represents, it is represented in a speech. Okay. It could be any of the symbols of an alphabet too. And letter could also be referred to 
any of the symbols of alphabet like a b c d all these are letters so all the alphabets separately could also be considered as a letter and this is the rank scale for graphology so basically what we find we find that graphology writing the writing system we have first sentence then we have sub sentence then we have word then we have letter okay look examples of graphological constituency sentence sub sentence and word and of course later we have so look here we have this sentence we have this sentence so this is the sentence this is the sub sentence why sub sentence because it is comma is used full stop is used sometimes we can use colon semicolon we have another example we have six sentence sub sentence sub sentence here we have comma we have full stop sometimes semicolon colon can be used then we have these words so let's see little miss muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey there came a big spider we sat down beside her and frightened miss muffet away look at the sentence this is a sentence big chunk of sentence constituency of sentence then we further can divide sentence into sub sentence when we divide sub sentence we use comma colon semicolon so here we have used comma so little miss muffet sat on a tuffet and comma and these are the words likewise there came a big spider we sat down beside her and frightened miss muffet away look it is a long sentence look long sentence the long sentence is divided and again divided into three sub sentences the first sentence there came a big spider comma we sat down beside her again comma and frightened miss muffet away so sub sentence and there are the categories of words and there is the letter letter could be anywhere you can see a group of letters make a word so this we can say examples of graphological constituency sentence sub sentence and word. okay so this table is just for understanding this need not memorize for the examination this is just a part of understanding how a big sentence can be divided into sub sentences then further can be divided into word and into a letter that is to say rank scale of graphology first is the sentence second is the sub sentence third is the word and fourth is the letter okay so this table is just for understand just for comprehension to understand what graphological constituency is all about okay so we move on to the next questions one look here questions one point number one write in detail about graphology so we have three points about graphology write all those three points in detail point number two question number two what are the four ranks of graphological constituency four ranks write all in the names number one sentence number two sub sentence number three word number four letter is the answer you can go back write only the names okay then go to the question number two questions type two three questions explain explain each one of the following graphological rank skills and now explain each one of them sentence we have talked about sub sentence we have also talked about word we have also talked about letter we have also talked about so when i ask explain one of the each one of the following means everyone i may ask in the examination one two three one all four depending upon the situations so please keep all the points in mind for the better understanding of this subject matter that is to say graphology okay 